There is a good reason Skahoy is a leader in the universal PTC controller market. Most importantly, we provide precise control for any brand of camera in any configuration you require. We have also developed innovative features like cruise control, PTC trace for all supported cameras. Plus, we take it even further by integrating cameras, sliders, and pedestals into one seamless control experience. Combo devices, essentially. Today, we are showcasing how to operate the Canon CN300 camera mounted on top a short-range Emotimo slider, all as if it were one device. It's essentially a dream come true to add a horizontal motion to the standard pan, tilt, and zoom axis of a PVC camera. And this kind of advantage is only unlocked with a universal control panel like PVC Extreme. So in this video, we'll use the Motomo slider to get that horizontal motion while we operate the camera from the PVC Extreme here. You see the SEER N300 sitting on top of the whole thing. I can do the pan operation here. I can also move the slider to the side. And why would that happen when I'm using the joystick, you may wonder. But that's some of the things that we need to see uh, underneath. But definitely, this joystick is now controlling two different devices. I also brought another Canon camera, and that is to show you that if we want, we can also mix in other models, and they don't have to be on a slider necessarily. So let's just quickly do that. We'll add manually a CRN100. So let me quickly type in the IP address of it and we'll see it connected. And on the PVC Extreme, the camera selector is now extended with an additional camera. You can see that I'm now controlling this camera. If I move over to the other one, you can see that I am controlling the slider. I am also tilting the camera, okay? So mix and match of different models, different circumstances, if you will. And now we are at it. The configuration table you saw me use right here, this is also where that additional control of the slider comes in. Because if you look at the difference for these two cameras, the configuration used for each of them turns out to be different. In the case of the Canon PTC camera here, the CIN100, I just used the standard plain vanilla Canon PTC Pro Class configuration. But for the Emotimo slider, there is a combined let me see, combined configuration. And if I type in Emotimo as a search word, you can see we actually have it for a number of different uh, cameras and slider models, etc. The one chosen today is the Emotimo SA 2.6 plus Canon PTC. So that configuration is what blends it together, creating that seamless, unique experience, okay? And that's what we will explore in this uh, video. How can we... Uh, integrate these two in terms of control. Uh, another uh, brief glimpse into the configuration before we move on is the CIN300 has an IP address and the CIN100 has as well. And then the Emotimo camera robot down here also is from a different so-called device core. It has ID number one. Now, inside the camera selector, uh, we uh, need to observe that we have two fields that the first one is the primary device ID. That's typically the camera on top. And that is ID number one in the case of the slider and camera combo. It is ID number two in case of the CN100. And then the combo device ID is one. And that is referring to the device being used like a secondary item, which is the slider in this case. Okay, let's just leave the configuration and look at the PVC Extreme. It is pretty normal for all these menus. So if you already know the PTC Extreme, you know that these buttons will call up menus that basically populate what the upper encoders are uh, setting for you, okay? And we have normally, I think, 10, and then we have now extended the menu with an additional page. So you have also menu slider one and menu slider two. Before we really start with the slider, we need to set some endpoints because if you're moving the slider beyond the end, you'll hear this very unpleasant noise when the motor is trying to pull the camera off the rails, basically. And of course, you won't do that. So you want to put this, the, the, um, the bed with the camera just before the end, and then you press and hold this one. Now you set this end stop, and then you'll go into the other direction with the camera down here, and then you'll similarly set an end stop for the slider in this direction, 
And when you have done that, you're basically good to go, okay? So I'll just close it in and then press this one down. All right, so now I'll first try this one out. Yes, okay, it stopped before it hit the end. That was awesome. And now I wanna go in the other direction and check that I have also a nice end stop in the other direction. Whew. All right, so if you wanna clear that, you can just press and hold this one and then you'll need to set both end stops once again. The other settings you see, these are times to recall presets. We'll explore that in a moment, but over here we have a speed of the camera. So actually notice what happens when I'm now moving it. You see it's actually slower than before and I can even, if we set it down to 38, it's even slower. I'm full swing on the joystick right now. So that is just the speed limit. That's pretty normal. And being in this menu, you'll see that here is the mapping. So question, why would the pan direction basically move the slider. And that is because pan has been set to slider, which is in my uh, case, uh, on my view, not ideal, actually because the zoom rocker is already slider. So now I've set it over to cam pan. So let's just check. Yes, I am panning the camera right now. And that's exactly what I would still expect from the joystick. But you can see that by just sim setting this simply like that, we are changing it over to slider. Now it's back to panning the camera. Okay, great. Now rotation here, I've now set that to slider. So using the rotation of the joystick will allow me to move the slider or I can move it back and then I can have it being my zoom of the camera. Yes, all right. So final one, zoom rocker, and that is probably the most ideal component on the PTC Extreme to move the camera from uh, place to place. I wanna recall presets because that's one of the super, super, super cool things that we can do on this camera, uh, on this combo actually. And that really makes, it's not just two different devices you control, it's also acting as one if you recall presets. And in this case, we even have the cool feature of the Motomo slider to be able to recall a preset within a designated time. All right, let's just move the camera into some sort of position. Now, um, right here, uh, maybe move it a little bit to, uh, to the end. So we'll just do this, okay. And we store this preset, press and hold here. And then we'll move the camera around, just zoom out slightly and move the slider into the other direction. So now I need to sort of counteract. And you can see I'm actually panning while I'm sliding. Maybe you didn't notice, but I was able to sort of keep my framing as I'm moving the track. I was also able with the, the pan, pan of the camera to actually keep my framing. Okay, anyway, I'm storing this on preset number two. Now, up here, we have, um, let me see, that was slider speed. No, it's on the second page here. We can decide what is the recall speed the slider will use for preset number one. Let's just set this to 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. And uh, if I move up, up here, I can do the same basically for preset number two. It's set to five, so it's, um, let's just set that to maybe eight, anyway. Uh, going back in the menu, we have a preset menu. This is now for the Canon camera. So inside of this menu, we need to look at the speed mode for preset recall, set it to time, and then we can set the, um, the time it will take to recall a preset to close to 10 seconds. We'll set it to 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. So let's be ready to recall preset number one. And we'll see now the camera is zooming in and it's panning slightly and the slider is at the same time moving to that other location within 10 seconds and stopping. Nicely synchronized. Pretty cool. Let's do the same for preset number two. So again, here we have a eight second recall on the slider, but we have an actual 10 second recall of the preset. Okay, so you see that's uh, also a really cool ability with the Emotomo slider and the Canon cameras that has these features. Sweet. Okay, let's move back into the menus here and explore what else we have. We have um, a slider speed uh, in uh, this case, and that is basically the um, a speed setting for my zoom rocker. You may think this is redundant with the speed limit, so speed limit is uh, basically the upper speed limit that we set for the slider, while this one is sensitivity of the zoom rocker or the, uh, the joystick over here. And slider curve, that is also a uh, curve value that is being set, which basically decides whether the zoom rocker will just map out linearly to the speed or if it will be um, 
like curved so that you have a slow acceleration in the beginning instead. Those settings are also found in, in, uh, with the joysticks and in, in many other cases in our controllers. Final two things I want to mention, that is we have in this menu ramp time and ramp time is how much time it takes for the slider to ramp up to its uh, full speed. And also we have this uh, stop all M motors and that is like an emergency brake in case you are banging your head towards the end of the slider. For whatever reason you did not set your endpoints, that is a way to just kill all motors on the motor. In this case, the Emotimo device core that we are running, this one uh, down here, is actually developed by Emotimo themselves uh, under supervision by Skahoy. So it's also a wonderful example of how we are working with third parties to add software into the PDC Extreme in general into our controllers. So what you get is one unified user experience with full control of presets for pan, tilt, zoom, focus, and the horizontal tracking of your slider. If you found this inspiring, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and sign up for our newsletter for the latest updates. All links to that can be found below in the description, and if you ever need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to our sales and support team.